SpongeBob SquarePants has no shortage of inappropriate jokes, but that's what makes this show so hilarious. Oddly enough, some scenes were deemed a little too extra for kids, which is why they were banned in other countries. You won't believe which deleted scenes never made it across the border. Keep watching to find out. High five! <laughs> Help Wanted It's no secret that some SpongeBob SquarePants scenes are a little out there, so it comes as no surprise that some countries see fit to cut out some temperamental scenes. But we never once thought that the first ever episode would have a deleted moment. Season 1, Episode 1 goes by the name of Help Wanted, and it basically introduces all of the characters to the viewers. This is a very special episode because, well, it's SpongeBob's first day at the Krusty Krab. Problem is, Mr. Krabs and Squidward aren't so sure that SpongeBob is ready for the job. So instead of crushing his spirits, Mr. Krabs tells SpongeBob that he can apply for the job as long as he locates a hydrodynamic spatula. Go out and fetch me uh... Hydrodynamic spatula. While SpongeBob is away, a convoy of buses containing hundreds of hungry anchovies park in front of the Krusty Krab and start pouring in. Mr. Krabs and Squidward are terrified. The anchovies are out of control, and they simply can't make enough Krabby Patties to feed them all. That's when SpongeBob bursts in, hydrodynamic spatula in hand. He makes hundreds of Krabby Patties and majestically feeds the anchovies while Tiny Tim's living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight plays in the background. And believe it or not, but this scene was deleted in Italy for unknown reasons. While some people believe that Italy didn't want to broadcast a Tiny Tim's song on a kid's show, this has yet to be proven. Jellyfishing While many of us were shocked to find out that Italy banned this hilarious scene, we weren't exactly surprised that Poland deleted this next one. In Season 1, Episode 3A, there's a very graphic scene between Patrick and Squidward that automatically sounded Poland's alarms. Jellyfishing is a funny episode that goes on to show just how clueless SpongeBob and Patrick really are. At the beginning of the episode, the two pals are watching jellyfish from afar. They decide to put their jellyfish nets together and go jellyfishing. On their way home, they cross paths with Squidward, who's in the process of taking a bike ride. They ask him if he wants to join, but he says he's too busy. Soon after, a jellyfish gets stuck in Squidward's wheel, causing him to get into a severe accident. Next time we see him, he's bandaged from head to toe and sitting in a wheelchair. So when SpongeBob and Patrick see him again, they decide that Squidward needs a best day ever to boost his morale. Welcome home, Squidward! Merry Christmas! We're gonna make this your best day ever! They take him jellyfishing, but there's a problem. Squidward can't use his hands to hold the net because, well, he's wearing a full body cast. So after a few failed attempts, Patrick forces the net through Squidward's cast. Ouch! So yeah, this scene was deleted in early Polish versions after being deemed too violent. Hooky. There's a reason why some TV shows make it a point to say, don't try this at home. And well, it's because some children have a hard time recognizing dangerous scenarios. For this reason, most cartoons stress safety and refrain from covering terminal scenarios. But we can probably all agree that SpongeBob SquarePants isn't like most cartoons. In Season 1, Episode 20A, Patrick shows up at SpongeBob's work and convinces him to go to a carnival. But to SpongeBob's horror, the carnival turns out to be the hooks that Mr. Krabs just finished warning him about. They eat ya! Or worse? <laughs> what could be worse than that? Gift shops. Despite telling Patrick that the hooks are dangerous, the starfish continues to eat cheese off of them and even sits on a particularly pointy one. Now that's got to hurt. But at some point, Patrick sticks a dozen hooks into his mouth and starts joking around. What he's doing is super dangerous, which is why Polish, UK, and Norwegian airings admitted this scene altogether. These countries didn't want to promote reckless behavior to young groups of children. They were afraid that kids would try to mimic Patrick's insanely dangerous actions. So they deleted the scene in earlier versions of the episode. What do you guys think? Did Patrick take things too far by playing hooky? Just one bite. In Season 3, Episode 43A, we find out that Squidward has never eaten a Krabby Patty before. SpongeBob is shocked. He tries to convince Squidward to take a bite out of a Krabby Patty. No wonder you're always so miserable. Here, try this. Get 
that garbage out of my face. However, SpongeBob continues to edge him on until finally Squidward takes a bite. He tells SpongeBob that they taste awful, but he's actually lying. Once SpongeBob leaves, Squidward eats the rest of the Krabby Patty out of the trash and desperately tries to eat more of them without being seen. Unfortunately, SpongeBob keeps getting in his way, so a desperate Squidward tries to sneak into the Krusty Krab at night to feast on as many Krabby Patties as possible. The first version of this episode aired a scene that was later taken out of every single version. In this scene, we see Squidward sneaking into the Krusty Krab and triggering an alarm. A bucket of gasoline falls on Squidward's feet and a match is thrown into the equation. Squidward gets blown up and then suffers another explosion shortly after. Despite this scene being being creative and funny, most countries didn't want to show it to their youth, so the episode was revised and altered accordingly. In the end, the scene was deemed too violent for children. Wormy We totally understand why Squidward's explosion scene was cut out of the original episode. However, we can't say the same for the Wormy song. In Season 2, Episode 25A, Patrick and SpongeBob are tasked with watching over Sandy's pets while she's out of town. One of Sandy's pets is a monarch caterpillar named Wormy. Kitty, kitty, coo -coo. Aw, look! Isn't he just precious? They play hide and seek with Wormy and literally have the best day ever. Heck, they even dance around and laugh together for hours. During this montage, a song called That's What Friends Do is played in the background. Yet for some reason, the entire song was cut from the Italian version of the episode. Their decision to cut out this heartwarming and non-vulgar song raised a lot of eyebrows, especially since Italy didn't give a valid reason for cutting out the friendly scene. Since the song is in English, it makes sense that some countries wouldn't want it playing in the background. However, Italy chose to cut this epic scene out altogether. Why do you guys think that the That's What Friends Do song was taken out of the Italian version? Let us know in the comment section. Naughty Nautical Neighbors There seems to be a trend going on here. One that places Squidward in a heap of life-threatening scenarios. It's safe to say that Squidward is clumsy beyond belief. We mean common, he's been hurt more times than we can count. In Season 1, Episode 4A, Squidward bakes himself a delicious souffle. He's so excited to eat it. But once again, his pesky neighbors are ruining his alone time. Squidward can hear SpongeBob and Patrick laughing their butts off outside. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> Squidward just wants to eat his souffle in peace, so he decides to break the pals up. He blows mean messages into jelly balloons and sends them their way, and soon the BFFs start to fight. Squidward is having a great time watching his neighbors bicker, so he goes outside to enjoy his souffle on a lawn chair. Squidward is laughing so profusely that he starts choking on his fork. He literally swallows it whole and it gets jammed in his throat. Now if that isn't karma, we don't know what is. It's easy to see why Poland wanted this scene cut out. After all, it literally showcases someone gasping for breath and passing out. If you think this scene was bad, your jaw will literally hit the floor when we reveal number one on this list. Band Geeks Here's another deleted scene that just may shock you. Do you guys remember the episode Band Geeks? It's only one of the most epic SpongeBob SquarePants episodes of all time. Season 2, episode 35B is all about Squidward's old schoolmate, Squilliam, and how he offers Squidward to play at the Bubble Bowl. The problem is, Squidward doesn't have a band, and Squilliam knows it. So to prove him wrong, Squidward asks the people of Bikini Bottom to join him on stage. Despite having one of the worst bands in the ocean, Squidward starts to conduct, and lo and behold, his band is amazing! The crowd goes wild when the band performs the song Sweet Victory. <laughs> It's a total hit, and arguably one of the best scenes the episode has to offer. Oddly enough, this entire scene was cut from Persian and Italian dubs. We totally understand why violent and inappropriate scenes get cut from time to time, but we have no idea why Sweet Victory wasn't broadcasted in Iran or Italy. Their viewers totally missed out on the most epic performance ever. Jellyfish Jam in Season 1, Episode 7B, we find out that SpongeBob has a deep-rooted love for jellyfish. By now, it's no secret that SpongeBob likes to spend a lot of his free time gallivanting through the jellyfish fields. One day, a jellyfish follows SpongeBob home, and they bump into Squidward along the way. 
but SpongeBob doesn't pay him any mind. He's ready to party it up jellyfish style. For the next 12 hours, SpongeBob and his new friend dance to techno rave music and have the time of their lives. However, this entire scene never made it across the Polish border. It turns out that Poland was concerned that the techno scene could potentially cause harm to children suffering from epilepsy. And since this scene was jam-packed with flashing lights and stroboscopic effects, we totally get where they're coming from. Still, it's a shame that this scene was cut from Polish airings, because, well, it's downright hilarious. SpongeBob SquarePants versus The Big One in Season 6, Episode 11, the Krusty Krab is making little to no business because of how it is hot outside. So Mr. Krab decides to move his business to the middle of the sea. Unfortunately for him, Patrick tags along and foils Mr. Krab's money-making plans. Squidward, SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, and Patrick get separated by a huge wave and spend the rest of the episode trying to get back to Bikini Bottom. Squidward, SpongeBob, and Patrick end up on an island with daredevil surfers. They tell them that to get home, they must surf the big one which is a gigantic wave that only occurs once in a blue moon. The episode is called Spongebob vs. The Big One in North America, but some countries don't want to put The Big One on their title card, so Poland changed the title to Spongebob vs. The Big Wave. While Latvia, Ukraine, Australia, and Germany changed it to The Secret of Kahuna Laguna. Out of the Picture we weren't kidding when we said that the last deleted scene on this list was going to make your jaw drop. In episode 214B, Squidward attempts to sell his paintings at the Krusty Krab. Unfortunately, they're not very good, <laughs> and customers are getting super annoyed. Mr. Krab wants to shut the whole thing down. However, he changes his tune when an art appraiser tells him, Paintings can become much more valuable when the artist is no longer with us. And since Mr. Krabs loves making money more than anything, he can considers taking Squidward out of the picture to rack in some serious dough. This entire scene was cut from the UK version, and we can't really blame them for choosing to forego the scene. After all, it gets graphic real fast. Shame on you, Mr. Krabs. The life of your employee is worth more than all of the money in the ocean combined. So, which one of these deleted scenes did you find the most shocking? Let us know in the comment section. And that's the end of our video. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the things. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.